Nano Banana and VO3 are two of the most popular AI tools right now. And today I'm going to show you how you can create these viral video hook transitions like this one completely for free. What's so cool about this is that you can do this all totally for free and you don't even need to be technical. So we're going to be using three tools today, Google's Nano Banana, VO3, and then we're going to be using CapCut to actually create the transition and edit everything together. I'm going to show you how you can do this for landscape video like you see on YouTube, and you can even do it for vertical video like you see on TikTok or Instagram. So we're inside of CapCut here and you're looking at the intro video that I just shot. And so basically I took a video of myself sitting here like I am right now. And I also just created like a single still frame at the end just of me smiling at the camera so I can create those first couple of videos that you saw. So if you don't have a still frame that you're working with, you can actually export a still frame directly from CapCut. You just come up here to this little hamburger menu. You go here and you go to export still frames and we can go ahead and just say like test and save this in whatever folder that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and export this. And then from there, we can come over to gemini.google.com, sign in with your Google account, this is totally free. What I found out is that this actually works better if you're using a personal account as opposed to a business account. This is really important for when you start using VO3 to actually generate the videos. It's going to be a lot cheaper. In fact, it's going to be free for you to use. So Google already knows how much people love Nano Banana. So they put this little banner up top. It says, try image editing with our best image model. And you can just go ahead and you can click this and it automatically selects Nano Banana for you. If you don't have this selected, what you're going to do is just come into tools right here, go ahead and click this and go down to create images. Turn photos into videos with VO, no thanks for now. Go ahead and click the plus and I'm just gonna go to upload files. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna import that test image that we literally just took. And I'm gonna say, make this man wearing a skeleton costume, keep his face exposed. So I think it's better to have your face exposed so that when you start adding voiceover and things like that, like you actually can still see your face and see your mouth move and things like that. So this literally just takes a couple of seconds to run. It's actually insanely fast. And you can see here, this already gave me a skeleton costume I'm wearing. It seems to me that VO is really good at recognizing like foreground, midground, background. So like it didn't change my background at all. It seems like it kind of just cut me out of the background and threw the skeleton costume on me. Pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead, download the full size image. Literally takes two seconds. And now, like I said, what's also really cool is that if you wanted to do this for TikTok or Instagram or anything using the vertical format. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to upload files and I'm going to upload this image here. And this is a vertically formatted image that I just shot in portrait mode on my iPhone. And I can say, make this man wearing a skeleton costume, keep his face exposed. Let's go ahead and send that off. And for some reason, I tried this with a zombie costume earlier. It didn't want to make a zombie image, I think. So let's go ahead and just see what this does for the vertically formatted uh, image. You can see here that I just shot this vertical and we should get back something in the same aspect ratio, which is really, really great. So now you can see here, we gave me a skeleton t-shirt, but it is in the vertical aspect. So you can kind of switch your outfits, switch your costumes, whatever you want. So now that you have the image, all you want to do is come over to labs.google slash effects slash tools. And basically you can kind of like, you know, if you want to go to the homepage, you would just come to labs.google and you can come in here and this says flow, right? And you just click create with flow. And it's going to open a new window for you. For some reason, it takes you to the flow page now and you got to click create with flow again. But anyway, that's how you get there. A uh, little tedious, but that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click new project to create a brand new project. And here you can see we have access to VO3 as well as VO2. And VO2 is what we're going to use to actually create the transitions. And that's because VO2 allows you to have a start frame and an end frame. So we can have me just like this in my jacket, and then we can have the Iron Man clip at the end. What we wanna do first is I'm just gonna go ahead and show you exactly how you can create like just a normal video. So I'm gonna do frames to video. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna click the plus and you can see I've already uploaded some images. You can delete these, you can edit these if you want. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click upload. And we can see here, I have me in my little um, you know, skeleton outfit. I'm just gonna go ahead and click crop and save. And what you can do here is you can say, make this man say nano banana and vo3 are two of the most popular ai tools right now and that's exactly how i started the introduction of the video you're watching so i'm just going to go ahead and send this off and it really only takes a few seconds maybe a minute for this to run and then we should have an image of me in the skeleton outfit creating the intro for this video and then i'm going to show you how to create that cool iron man transition so while this is cooking we can come back over here and what I can say instead is I'm going to upload this file. And if you ever feel like you're getting stuck, you can just go ahead and click create a new chat. And so that way you can start totally fresh. So let's do that. I'll click create images. I'm going to go ahead and upload our test file again. And I'm going to say 
turn this man into a cyberpunk robot and send that off as well. So let's see if we can have something that actually makes sense to create some sort of transition with kind of like the clothes flying on or the, you know, the robot outfit or whatever flying on. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, this turned me into this wild cyberpunk robot. This is really funny. I'm curious what VL3 is going to do with this. I'm going to download this at full size. Super cool. We can come back into our project here. And now we can go ahead and take a look at what this just created. And so let me go ahead and click play. Nano Banana and VO3 are two of the most popular AI tools right now. Okay, Nano honestly, banana. that's pretty crazy. What you want to do to download this is you want to just go ahead and click download and then click upscale because if you're working on YouTube or anywhere, you want the largest size video and 1080p is normal HD resolution. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It takes a couple minutes to run and then we can just download that to the system and import it back into CapCut. So next, I'm going to show you how we can create that cool transition. And so what you want to do is you actually want to find the point in the video that you want to make your transition from. So I'm back in CapCut here and we can see here just like this. So here I'm saying viral video hook transitions and that's the moment I want this transition to happen. I'm actually gonna go a few frames before when my hand is still out of the frame. This is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click export still frames. I'm gonna type viral, click save. So this just exported. And now if we come back in here, we can save frames to video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload. I'm gonna upload that image that I just exported from CapCut. This is great, this is gonna come in. And then from there, we're actually going to transition between this and the cyberpunk robot. So next, you can see here, this is the first frame and this is the second frame. So I'm gonna upload the cyberpunk robot as our second frame. And now we actually can't do frame to frame transitions with VO3, we need to actually use VO2. So I'm gonna do VO2 fast and we keep the aspect ratio as landscape. What's also cool is you can actually output multiple variations of the same transition, like if you wanted to test them, right? So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and say sections of the cyberpunk robot fly in and click into place. Let's go ahead and send that off and see if that's all we need to say. So let's go ahead, send this off. This is generating. And let me show you how you can actually get access to this for free. So what's cool is Nano Banana, totally free out the gate. And then this you can actually test, but it's best to have a Google AI Pro account because that's what you need in order to get access to VO2, which is how you create the transition. What's great is that you can see here, it's $0 to get started and you can just sign up for this plan right now and then cancel it immediately so you never get charged. What's even better is that if you're a college student, you can actually get the pro plan free for an entire year. So just go ahead, upgrade your account. Like I said, this works best with your personal account and not a business account. And then you can just cancel it right away and get access to your thousand free credits. Our original video finished upscaling. I'm gonna click this download button right here to download this to my machine. And let's go ahead and test these out and see if these worked. Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of crazy. Okay, that one is really cool, I really like this. What I realized obviously is he's not actually saying anything. Okay, the other thing here is that VO2 actually doesn't allow you to do audio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change this back to VO3 fast. I'm gonna upload the image of the cyberpunk robot and I'm just gonna say, make the robot say viral video hook transitions, just like this one in a deep, robotic voice while the camera slowly zooms in. So now we can send this off and I'm gonna show you exactly once we're done how to edit this all together inside of CapCut. Okay, these are done. Let's go ahead and test these out. Viral video hook transitions just like this one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see how the other one looks. Viral video hook transitions just like this one. I weirdly like the second video better, but I actually don't like that little pause he has. So I'm going to download this first one, do the upscaled version. I'm going to upscale this. And then in just a minute, we're going to pop over to CapCut and put these all together. Okay, this is finished. I'm going to go ahead and click download. And then I'm just going to pop over into CapCut and we can go ahead and click import. And I'm just going to import all of these videos that we just grabbed. And all we need to do is come over to the end here, just like video hook, where he says viral video hook transitions. And I'm going to hit B on the keyboard for the blade tool you can create these and maybe right around here is where I actually want to start the transition. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring in our transition clip and we can come and scrub through this and I'm going to start with the pieces kind of already flying on. So I'm just going to go ahead and split that here. We can lay this over top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come into speed and I think I'm going to increase the speed a lot, like maybe a seven viral. And I wanna make sure this is extended all the way to the end because you see here, we actually transition into this kind of like blue purple world, which we're gonna to need to match this clip right here. So I'm gonna speed this up even more. 
even more, maybe 10. Eight, these viral videos. Cool, so I think that can work. Maybe 10 is right. And what I'm gonna do is after this kind of lands in place, we're just gonna do some editing tricks here. And it does take a little bit of work to edit, but you can see here, that right around here is where we start the transition. So I'm just gonna split this here as well. And I'm just gonna drag this piece over and I can delete what's underneath. And so now we should have something where it kind of clips into place and transitions viral pretty quickly. These viral. And if I drag our clip here with the speaking little robot cyberpunk guy, and we can come in here, we can see where the waveforms start, where he actually starts speaking. So we can split this, delete the beginning, and just drag this over create these viral, viral video. Cool, so, and I think that I can trim this one a little bit more. Again, the magic of editing. Create these viral, viral video, video hook transitions. Hook just transition. like cool, and then we can delete this clip on the bottom of me talking. These viral video hook transitions. Create these viral video. Cool, so that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but I think this is certainly passable for anything that you might want to use for social media. If you thought this video was cool, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and then definitely check out this video up here where I use ChatGPT5 totally for free to help take my agency from $0 to $10,000 a month. I'll see you over there.